Be nice. <laughs> yes, you have. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, awesome. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> hi. Okay, okay. We need to stop for a second. Um, this is editing, James. This was shot uh, like a month ago. Um, welcome back, by the way. Hi. Um, hold on. Let me just put you down. Um... Okay. Hi. Right. Um, so just to explain, there's lots happened. Uh, I've got a lot to fill you in on. I've got a lot of footage from the last month or so because we've been doing a lot with my company and business is growing, we're about to launch something new. I want to tell you all about it and uh, I need to rewind a little bit. Um, in order to do that, uh, we're not going to quite get to the team yet. If you want to meet the team and skip everything else, then you can skip to the end of the video when we will finally get to this bit of footage. Basically, I have an awesome team and uh, I need to fill you in first of all. I shot a bit in the house before I went to this meeting uh, and we'll start there. Is that, uh, okay, yeah. Right, yeah, okay, hello, hi guys, how's it going? Right, so it's been a long time, hasn't it? I um, hope you're all well, lots happened since uh, we last saw each other. I hope everyone is doing okay, and uh, and I hope your pandemics haven't been too terrible. Um, bizarrely for me, it actually was kind of fairly uh, as I'd planned, because uh, middle of March, I had this idea, I'm gonna stop teaching uh, middle of March, that was when my kind of Cambridge teaching ends, and I thought I'm just gonna step back a little bit, uh, a few months away from the coal face, give a lot of thought to what I'm doing and where everything is going and work on some projects that were not kind of immediately required to be finished. Uh, and um, that's exactly what it is. So uh, my pandemic was kind of what I'd had planned um, pretty much. Uh, and in a sense, everyone else got to do what I had planned as well. So anyway, uh, yeah, I hope you're all well. Um, it's been good to have a little bit of time away from the vlog, but um, Again, you know, as I say, it's sometimes it's good to have time to step away from the cold face and think about what you're doing and reflect where everything is going. Um, make a few changes, beard's a bit shorter. <laughs> yeah, today the vlog is back and um, today's an interesting day hopefully for you guys because I'm making some progress with my company. Uh, we've been making plans over the last few months and today we've got a meeting, got a few people coming up to Ely, uh, sit down and talk through a few things uh, and I'm going to bring you along. As you know, this vlog is all about me showing you how I make a living from being a composer, how the business aspects of it work, uh, and my company is part of that sort of business. I did a video before explaining how my company's business is different from my business as a composer. My company kind of supports me and does lots of kind of things uh, which you would expect uh, like an agent to do for a composer. Um, they're kind of both me at the moment, but now the company is gradually expanding. We've got a little team now, a slightly bigger team than we had before. Um, we're almost 10 people now. So uh, yeah, just gradually getting things together. I'm gonna bring you along, maybe you can meet a few of them and uh, yeah, see what I'm getting up to. I guess one of the other things to mention is just, uh, yeah, I have been thinking about what to do with the vlog and I think things are gonna change a little bit. I I'm really pleased with what I've done so far. You know, I'm absolutely thrilled that so many of you guys watch it and engage with it. And uh, although it doesn't have a huge audience, you know, I said before, I didn't want it to have a massive audience, but what I did want to do is create something useful for you guys. And honestly, some of the comments I have really show that people do listen to what I say, which I'm really sort of flattered by, because, you know, why would you listen to me? So um, I am gonna be changing some things on the YouTube. I'm gonna be doing some different kinds of videos. Uh, I'm going to do more of those technical videos. You remember I did like a pilot for the Technical Tuesday videos. I'm going to do more of those because I got some really good feedback and uh, there's been some really kind of nice uh, interest and positive things people said about it. And I think it would be a useful thing. So that's focusing more on the technical aspects of music theory and composing as opposed to the business stuff, which is maybe what the vlog is more about. Um, more I will explain uh, before long. You know, Ely was actually a really lovely place to be locked down in. Um, if you don't know Ely, it's a city in Cambridgeshire, in the UK, just north of Cambridge. Um, tiny city. It's a city because it's got a cathedral just over there, um, behind this sports centre, which is maybe slightly less attractive than the cathedral. Um, 
yeah, city, it's about 20,000 people, so it's pretty tiddly and it's beautiful. I moved here about four years ago. I've mentioned the Ely before in videos. Yeah, I, uh, I really feel for everyone who's been in a, you know, tiny flat or, you know, with flat share with people they can't stand or family they can't stand. I mean, I know there's been real, real challenges that everyone's faced. And it's, it's, uh, I haven't wanted to sort of do the videos during the pandemic, partially actually because I felt, you know, everyone was piling onto the internet. Um, and I, I do love my YouTube, but I just wanted to take a break from it and uh, let everyone else have a go. But now I'm back. So first up, I'm meeting Declan, one-to-one. Uh, -one. Declan has just started with the company. He studied at Cambridge, where I taught him. Just graduated this summer. Fresh-faced, bushy-tailed. Um, it'd be really good to have just a one-on-one. -on -one. I like doing one-on-ones. They're yeah, really important. Um, get to know each other a bit better. You can better understand what I'm trying to do. Okay, so there's Declan. This is editing James again. Um, I think this is a good moment to just jump back in uh, and say to you guys, I'm not going to say in this video what it is we're doing. I know it's really annoying um, when people say, oh, I'm doing this thing, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. I, I always find it annoying, but there's only so much stuff I can get into these videos. And um, this one's going to be about 10 minutes, I think. So today is just about introducing you to a few of the team. Uh, I'm going to explain what we're doing soon. We're launching what we're doing on the 30th of September, so that's on Wednesday. If you're curious, the best place probably to figure out what I'm doing or follow what I'm doing is on Instagram, James Olsen Music, so you can follow there. I keep, I don't post a lot, but I'm posting quite a bit more on the stories. Um, or you can uh, just tune into next week's vlog. Next week, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Ah, oh, Sunday lunch. <laughs> the footage finish is there for a bit. Declan and I had a coffee, actually not in Costa because it was full, so we went to Nero. Uh, then we had lunch with the others who came up. And then after lunch, uh, we went for our meeting, which you'll see now. Just briefly to say, I mean, having lunch together, um, this is something I've been thinking about a lot in the pandemic. Olsen Fellag has been going for three years now. We started in 2017 and we have always been remote, flexible workers. And the reason I did that is I just always thought that was the way business is going. And it's been so interesting in the pandemic that uh, that is finally now the way businesses have realized that you can operate. In a sense, they could have operated like that for decades, but there's just been kind of a cultural resistance, I think, which is interesting. So we are trying to find a way to work remotely and flexibly. The flip side of remote, flexible working is if you do it for 95% of the time, that's fine. But if you do it 100% of the time, you really have problems. You have problems of getting people to kind of get to know each other. You have problems of innovating, because I think if you don't uh, ever sort of talk to each other very well or just kind of do Zoom calls, then you can get very kind of tunnel vision-y. Um, and the third thing is like mentoring and training. Now, my company is really big on, you know, we've got a lot of young people working for us. That's I'm going to come to. Uh, and, and what we do is mentor and train them. That's one of the big things we can offer to people who work for us. So if you never meet up in person, that is a real problem. The reason we're doing this meeting here, and you'll see this more in future vlogs for the other meetings we've had, <clears throat> is that if 5% of the time we get together, then 95% of the time we can work really well on our own remotely. But you need this 5% where you get together, you have a coffee, you sit down, have lunch, whatever. Anyway, that's enough jabbering from me. Back to the vlog. Actually, you know what, editing James is still here because as we watch this time lapse, I thought I'd just say a few things about my approach to building a team. As I mentioned, I have quite a lot of young people working for me. The bulk of the people who work for Olsen Fellag are music students or at the early stages of a music career. Um, but it's a team of young musicians and there's a very deliberate reason for doing this. One is, and you know, I'll be talking about this more when I tell you a bit more about the business, but our target market really is young musicians and I think there's a real problem in business when you know you have a bunch of old men like me sitting around guessing what young people want. Uh, I think the only way you can actually build a business which does serve the needs of young musicians is to have young musicians in the business, not just doing market research, but actually really running the business with me. And, and the other reason for it is that you know, we're a social enterprise. We're not here just to make vast quantities of money. We're here to improve the world, and we do that by you know, our, 
our fundamental purposes are to bring music to more people and to help musicians, especially young musicians. So a massive part of what I'm doing in this company is actually kind of an extension of my work as a music teacher and as a composing teacher uh, and as a mentor is that I'm trying to teach young musicians about business. And I've given this a lot of thought. I've come to the conclusion that the best way to mentor young people sometimes is actually not in a teaching context, in a pedagogical context, but it's in a business context. When you're trying to achieve something and there are different goals, there are different rules in the business context to in a teaching context. It's really interesting, I find, and uh, so far it's working very well. You're going to meet them in a second because there's this footage where they say hi to camera. They're a bit shy, I think. This is our first meeting where we've done vlogging and uh, I didn't want to push them too much. But you've already heard about Declan, so he's, as I say, graduate from Cambridge this year. And we've got Elliot. He's the most experienced out of the three that are in this meeting. Um, he's an experienced school teacher, but having done you know, a degree at Durham in music and then a master's in Cambridge, he's now returned to study to do a master's in composition at the Royal Academy of Music. So you know, he's back to being a student. And then we've got Grace, who is uh, one of my private pupils, and she is about to go to read music at Oxford um, starting next week, basically. So you know, she's right at the start of her music career. Um, right at the start of her kind of academic career. You'll get to know these people more. Um, this is just a brief introduction, but I, I suppose the, the thing I want to say about all this is that people might think it's unusual to have such inexperienced people working for me, but from experience, I think it's actually really helpful to have people who are maybe a bit inexperienced, a bit rough around the edges, but they're keen and they really want to learn and they can be moulded as well. I mean, a lot of this, we're doing something quite unusual, so I need to have people who are willing to do things differently and not just going to say to me, that's not how you do things, because we're doing things differently. Anyway, finally you get to meet them. You know, you've been on, yes, you have, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, here we are, see, oh, some, we have a meeting. I want you to meet the team. Say hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> I think you should just each say who you are. You've met this guy before, this is Elliot. So, um, I'm Elliot, and I mainly work on the score production side of Olsen Powerwork. I'm Grace, and I'm an administration assistant. I'm Declan, and I also basically do administrative stuff. <laughs> <laughs> They're very modest. <laughs> but it's been useful today, right? Um, it's early days. Are you, you're uh, not quite sure. <laughs> How's I? Oh, is it? Who yes. It's early days, but the point of this vlog is to try and show you what I do as I... <laughs> so, shall we add camera up to recruitment? Yeah, I think... I, I need a much longer arm. I mean, it's nice there, doesn't it? But, yeah. Um, look, look it's, been a, it's been a useful day, I think. We've gradually been making progress on this, and... Uh, we will be telling you more about it, but it's really, it's good because we work remotely. It's really nice to actually have a physical uh, meeting where we can sort of talk to each other and make plans. Yeah. So, right, well, we'll, uh, to be continued. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>